Another That's my homie, man. Just man, enjoy your life, bro. Enjoy your life, man. He's living life in the, in the neck. I want to do this, man. I'm proud of him. Uh, so it doesn't matter how high they get, man. They don't change, bro. I love him. If, if he gets the third one against Connor, what? I thought he won a second. Me too. <laughs> bro, the, the, you feel this validates your champ as the legend that can't take it from you? Does it secure your place in history for, for Andre Ward's like it? I should ask you more like that. It's tricky. I mean, like, I have my personal opinion, but then I have an opinion I got to share with you guys. I mean, it's the real Dells Ring TV. I think it's getting harder and harder to hold people. Whatever it takes to a standpoint, from a legacy standpoint. You know, I don't know. Hall of Fame is so important, man. And I think, you know, well, if I'm not there already, we're inching close. But you don't know, think tonight wrote that credential? Like that. Yeah. Yeah. You guys got to decide. Andre. Hey, Andre. Andre, Andre. 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 One of my favorite fighters of all time has been holding that one pound for pound spot hostage for all the years that I was close. It didn't hurt him. And there's nothing I can do about it but bow down and just respect him and let him either retire or move on, you know, and do something else with his life. So, um, we did kind of have, you know, um, obviously, I think it was around fourth, fifth round. It seemed like we just kind of found that range. Yeah. I think I mentioned yeah. about the jab, being able to avoid the jab. If they're closing the distance, yeah. they're getting close to it. And if, so if there is, a, you know, when, when are you are you chasing the shadow like one, LeBron chasing like Jordan, so to speak? Now, I, I don't you know, think it'll maybe be easier weird about me, but like I'm with, with guys like Floyd and other great fighters easier. having their position. Second, like I just want to yeah. stay in my lane. The fourth, I'm not like a guy that's like yeah, I'm gonna break his records here and I'm gonna win more times. Like I know that's what Floyd is. You know, it ain't having to work that way for him. See in my lane. I've never been a guy that try to. I don't know. Maybe I have too much respect for those guys, but I never want to compete with them. You know, I just respect them and I leave them there. And I want to. You know, create my own. Greg, how many shoes do you have in your collection? Because this. What, what do you like more? These just, are the gold ones. Hey, how many shoes Obviously, do I, I have? Just in, had a lot in of Las Vegas in home him, that I rented. <laughs> did you learn anything about them? How many? At least ten. <laughs> one week. I'm ten. It's crazy. The gold ones were crazy, and these are pretty good. What are these? Pretty nice too. Yeah. You know, you're gonna have your own life. You threw up on that Darnell Williams fight when you went down you know, in the second round. You threw up on that. Experience. I really didn't, man. It's just like I, I mean, I've drawn on that experience, you know, years ago. You know, knowing that okay, I got up. Really? You know, I have how old was he? Uh, yeah, he's yeah. Okay. You don't tell him not to but, do uh, that. I don't know, man. It was, it was weird when I got dropped. I, I mean, as we got started, I didn't know why I smiled. I was just saying. So I learned. So obviously, if, if how having been with him as long as you have been, the guy how happy you are you for him that, like that he's been able to know that he could have I mean, a moment like this? that stuff gets right you to the place where you're ready for fun. moments like this, but I wasn't ever trying to downplay this fight when I said I had been there before. Like, I've been in, you know what I'm like, sometimes the media is, you know, a certain opinion based on what's written. But it's like, let's move And sometimes I'm like, man, that's not what happened. Like, I've been in tough fights, man. I've been in, trust me, my wife will tell you. It's I've had to be iced down for two, like, three days, can't walk and stuff. Mind, I've been there, I paid my dues. And fight. obviously I have to go in there and do it again and keep doing it until I retire. Okay. But I mean, I've you tasted pretty hurt, much everything you, know. you can taste as a professional fighter except the loss. Andre, going in around round three. Yeah, that's, so a that's a good situation. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. I can't say that. And this point, he, he, he had a strong punch, but it was nothing oh, sorry. that was in his jaw. See me running tonight? No, sir. It was nothing. Like he, he's a strong punch. There was nothing in his punches that made me feel like, man, I can't engage with him at all. Do you think Adonis Stevenson is ready for SOG? I can't call it, man. It's really not even about Adonis right now, man. Adonis has had so many opportunities to step up and fight. And it's funny that, that all of a sudden he's calling the winner out of this fight. Um, I'm not even, honestly, I'm not even interested in talking about it. Dana. Was there anything about Andre, Kovalev that was better than you anticipated? Nope, I think it was pretty much what it was. Uh, sharp, technically sound, you know, he's got the European style. Um, and we got a couple of those fighters in our gym, so, you know, I know that, I know how they work, know how they fight. Andre. You know, it, it's a great, great style, man. And, and I was a little surprised I mean, at how, how much he kind of faded. You know, it wasn't only visibly, but, you know, in terms of maybe the crowd may have seen or, or the viewing audience. And as a fighter, you can feel it. And um, he just couldn't, he didn't have another gear. 
Andre. Andre. Well, your, your career, you know, just was your, your, that performance you were looking for. The one that you said that you were looking for that best performance on the big stage. I think it's it's about your career. Did, did, you, did, did you deliver it for, well, to your statement? Oh, okay. I hope so. What you think? I, I, I got you. Certified. How fast? Andre, at the, at, when the third bell rang, what's going through your head? Because most prognicators probably have you down three points going into the third round. I got to get this back. How? What, I mean, how do you stay the course? It's like a fight or flight thing, right? I'm not gonna fly. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not running. So it's time to fight. That's all that was going in my head. Like, like this. I, this, I do this for a living. You know, I fight three days a week in a boxing gym. Or just four or five different. Like I fight for a living every single day. Gut check time. So it's nothing in me that wanted to run, duck, dodge, hide. It's just I gotta get this back. And thankfully, I had the rounds to try to get some more rounds in the bank. So it was just an urgency that was in me. I was. I was so I had such an urgency on the inside where I didn't have time to get tired because I was digging myself out of a hole. So, so every round was game seven every, from that point that's on. That's what he was telling me. He said, oh, wow. he said you need every single round, and that's the standard he set, so I wouldn't let off the gas. Andre, Andre did you that? feel that after all twelve were done, you raised your hand that there was no doubt that you had won the fight, or were you questioning it? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't know how it was going to go. You guys know how the, the judges can go sometimes. I felt like I did enough. Do you feel we need that business. To, to, to permanently know who's the better man? I mean, I don't know, bro. I, I was a better man, and I got the belt. Andre, 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 I really Andre. need this answer about Anthony Stevenson closer to my mic, please. I'm going to bring back this back to Montreal. Do you want to fight Anthony Stevenson now? I'm not talking about Adonis right now. Um, it's not about him. You know, tonight is about me and Kovalev. We're going to a great fight. I mean, obviously, Kovalev is a happy man.